Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for Aries, okay? We're just going to do a quick reading for you guys, see what um, pops out for you, and go from there. Alright, so we got the past situation. <laughs> Only reason why I did that is the first card that pops out is the devil, right? Okay, so in the past, I feel like you were in a toxic situation, right? Feeling controlled, feeling stuck, feeling, you know, stuck or chained to some type of person or situation that was not healthy for you. Um, I feel like the Queen of Swords is like you kind of knew it, you know what I mean? You were seeing right through the person, but it was like, or situation, but it still was there, you know what I mean? So I'm going to pull some more cards. Yeah, the Magician, the person could have been a manipulator, right? Somebody who likes to pull them, you know, stuff over you, trying to make you believe something when it's not true, you know what I mean? Like pro empty promises is what I always think with the Magician, you know what I mean? About the devil, please. Okay, yeah, they made you feel stuck, they made you feel trapped, you were stressed out over this, anxiety, you know, stuck, stuck also in your thoughts, stuck in sadness. Okay, so this is for love, right? I did mention this is love reading, so I'm not going to mention career or anything like that. Okay, so the devil is, okay, you're dealing with a toxic situation, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but since, you know, this eight of swords is here to freaking clarify the devil, the empress, and the world, I feel like, you know, you're finally realizing you are all that you need, and that the cycle needs to end, right? It's like, um, because you stayed stuck with this manipulator for too long, you know what I mean? You're finally realizing, okay, you know what I mean? I don't need this anymore, I don't want this anymore, because this person is a lie, a, a lie that's not even the word. A liar, a cheater, sneaky little person, filthy McNasty little person, you know what I mean? People that you don't want to trust, somebody that gives you broken promises, says they're going to do something, and then they do another, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like you're finally starting to see through, you know, their, their actions and the way that they are, and you're starting to see the person that they really are. If that made sense, okay? You're starting to notice that they may have other people, okay? The Knight of Wands. This can be you charging towards your passions, or this could be them charging to their passions. Um, there could have been a third-party situation. Only reason why I say that is because the Knight of Wands is somebody who has, like, many suitors, you know what I mean? And I feel like this person's a liar, and the devil doesn't really always add up so well, so very well could be. Hey, cheater. Um, I do feel like, okay, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, King of Cups, and the Strength. Okay. So these four fell out together, so I'm going to read these as one. I feel like um, this is saying that you're hard at work on something. You're trying to master something. I don't know if you're trying to build a business, trying to go back to school, trying to study something, further your career, further your education, or just like really work on putting yourself back together as in like healing, focusing on you with the Empress card. I don't know if you're pregnant, but you could be. But I feel also with the Empress card, you know, telling me, you know, that you know things are going to be okay. You're going to be fine by yourself. You don't have to worry about that. And then you get the Page of Swords. You may have your eye on somebody else. Like, you may not even be invested in this person anymore, okay? Because you may have your eye on somebody else or something else. You have your mind set on something else. The King of Cups, because they bring, you know, um, balance into your life. <laughs> or if not, because they bring balance into your life, because you're just spying on them right now. I feel like you feel like they can bring you balance into your life. Um, whoever you're watching. It could also be that you're dealing with a cancer sign, I mean a water sign, <clears throat> the strength card, you could be dealing with a Leo, but this is also telling me that, you know what I mean, you are stronger than you think, okay? So don't allow other people to try to like sway you into thinking that you're not strong enough to be able to leave something or someone behind that you can't do it behind, without them or whatever, you know what I mean? Don't let them lie to you, okay? Um, then you have the Ace of Wands. This tells me there's a new love, there's a new start in passions, there's new sparks and inspirations, there's new ideas. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, maybe you're taking those new inspirations, those new ideas, and making something out of it, like making a business out of it. The Queen of Pentacles, you're focusing on yourself, okay? Focusing on you. No longer worried about this stuff. You want to know why? Because of Nine of the Nine of Wands. This person never cared about you in the first place, right? All they did was hurt you, hurt you, hurt you mentally, physically emotionally, you know what I mean, always made you feel like you weren't nothing, like you were worthless, like you never had enough, you know, like you were never good enough, I feel like, okay, so what about this person, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, they're unpredictable, right, you never know what you're going to get with them, right, and then they got the Five of Pentacles, too, they're afraid of you leaving them, they're afraid of you leaving them out in the cold, they don't want you to go, they don't want you to go, um, there's forward movement. This person is like a fast mover. So I don't know if they get mad fast or if they just do things in a fast way. But they got the Eight of Wands. I feel like maybe they're moving on to now. Finally, they're moving on. The King of Swords, I feel like they may be mad. 
all right so they may be a little bit angry um always quick to fight always quick to yell argue and stuff like that okay with the knight of swords let's see you the king of pentacles yeah you got the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles on your side this could mean that somebody may be coming in for you in the future, bringing you stability, but this can also just say that you're only worried about you and your money and your focus about is on you only. Like, you're not even worried about this. Yeah, Six of Cups, your mind is on the past, okay? You're thinking about happy memories, happy memories that you spent with somebody else. King of Swords, you see right through this person. You're not trying to go back to anything that is the devil or anything toxic. Okay, because this is dealing with love. So you're not trying to go back to this toxic person anymore because they weren't really doing anything for you. All they were doing was leaving you feeling wounded. You were never able to depend on them. I feel like they kind of held money in your face, right? But now you are worried about you and worried about your money. And now you know that you're not going to allow anybody else to do that. So I feel like that's why you're so focused on your money and your stability right now is because you didn't have it back then, right? What does this person want? <laughs> Queen of Wands, they're very dramatical, okay? This person is drama, 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 all right? Drama and anger. Yeah, the full card. They're definitely about to go in a new step, a new direction in life. Thank you. You're so cute. Thanks. Yeah, oh my God, they got the full and then the chariot at the bottom of the deck, all right? You don't know this, but they're finally going to leave. Alright, because this is something that we don't know. It's like, um, underneath the deck is basically what's coming, but we don't see that it's coming, right? So, yeah, they're about to leave, because this is for their side, alright? So, don't worry, because I don't feel like this person, I feel like this person is very stubborn, wasn't trying to leave before, but maybe, you know, things are changing, and I feel like they're just going to give up, and finally, with the Eight of Wands, it's just tell me forward movement. Um... <clears throat> You have loyal heart, okay? So I feel like you were loyal in this situation, or one of you guys, or you are a loyal person, or you're searching for loyal, you know what I mean? Loyalty. I'm going to pull two more cards, and then I'm going to go. Between worlds. Okay, yeah, you definitely have to make a choice, because you are feeling a little stuck at the moment, right? Um... I just feel like you need to meditate on this. I feel like everything's going to be fine. Don't be scared that when this person leaves that you ain't going to be able to do it because you will. You know what I mean? You got this new star here. You do have stability coming for you in the future. There is a new end, you know, an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, okay? So it is things coming in. You have the strength card, all right, which tells me that you and the empress, you're going to come out on top, all right? You got king of pentacles, king of cups, queen of pentacles, king of swords, the empress. I feel like you're a mother or a father, right? Um... Anyway, just know that it's going to work out for you. Then you got a leg up, okay? So this just tells me that you might need to ask for help, or you already are basically almost to where you're trying to get to, right? I'm going to pull some more of these. Also, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Nothing will come out of this situation. I feel like you already knew that. Nothing will come out of this situation, all right? That is void, of course, moon. Then you have full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity, any negative attachments towards people, places, things, emotional, physically, mental, whatever kind of negativity stuff you got going on. It's like you need to release that so you can finally let go because your hard work is paying off. Whatever you're doing is working. Like I just said, your hard work is paying off. And the last card it says a new start is coming. Perfect thing for the last card, right? A new start is coming, so don't doubt it, especially with the Ace of Wands. This is a new start, right? So keep on pushing forward. You got this. This person's finally going to leave now, or at least they're going to finally let you leave now. I feel like you kind of felt stuck or tied to each other. Could have been married. Could have been, you know, whatever. Maybe you were together for a long time. But, yeah, I feel like this is finally ending, and when it does, you're going to finally be able to... You know, do the work that you need to do and focus on your career and focus on your stability and putting yourself back together. So, um, actually, I'm not done. Of course, nothing wants to fall out. Probably because, like, now, because this is a romance oracle card. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you're trying to give up on romance, don't give up on romance. As long as you stay positive and you know that it's going to be there for you, just it'll come. Just don't, you know, have ne no negative thinking towards that. 
right? And then you have, you deserve love, you are lovable. So if you feel like, you know, because of, you know, all the situations you've been in from the past. Because the Nine of Wands, I feel like that's a wounded warrior. We all know that, right? But I feel like this is also somebody who constantly gets hurt, always has themselves in the worst positions. So you may feel like you're not lovable, but just know that the people that you were involved with or situations you were involved with were all lessons. And once we find the meaning to all the lessons and we're able to move on and then we realize it's not us, you know what I mean? It was the other people. It was their loss, not ours. And then you have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I don't know if that's good or bad, sorry, but out of this situation, it looks pretty good to me. So just know that it's about to... Um, happen for you and I feel like this is with the page of swords whoever you have your mind whoever you have your eye on or whoever's new about to be popping up into your life it says this could be the one you are already met the romantic partner you seek so I feel like whoever you have your, your eye on is like could be this person playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to a fun to shine so you got to find the fun again like I said keep happiness keep positivity that way you can get it back and it says, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.